In this lesson, we'll take a look at how we can begin to duplicate our solar cells into a pattern for our panel. So we have our individual cell here within a group. You can see all the pieces underneath. We do have our uh, cylinder here, which we can go ahead and add to that group if we want to. So now our group encompasses the entire solar cell. We can name this. I'll just double click and just call this cell. If we want to name the nodes underneath this cell, you can go ahead and click on those. And you can come right up here and choose rename right up at the top of our screen. And then we'll just call this something like cell underscore, and then we'll add a number to the end of that. Just kind of clean things up. So we've got our cell. Um, let's go ahead and freeze the transforms on that so everything is nice and clean. And now what we want to do is we would like to create a pattern. And we can do the same sort of thing that we did with these individual pieces with this now grouped cell. So we want them to be kind of aligned. And so let's go ahead and figure out how far we need to duplicate this. So we'll create a single duplicate here, Control-D. And I'm just going to move it in the Z direction. So I'm going to kind of figure out how far do I want these to be apart. And so maybe just kind of getting this here manually and then kind of looking at the number. So that's probably pretty good. It may be a little bit close, but um, we'll remember this number. So we've got minus 1.74. So we'll remember that. Go back in. And let's go ahead and go back to Duplicate Special. We'll reset everything. And we're going to be moving it in the Z again. So X, Y, and Z minus 1.74. And then we want to create the number of copies. So I'm going to say we want to have 12 total. So let's do 11 copies because we're not counting the original. And let's go ahead and Duplicate Special. And it's going to duplicate that whole group. So now we have an entire row of these panels. And if we go into our outliner, we can see that that group, those groups have been duplicated and they've all been translated. So once you have a group like this, you can come in and we'll select the whole thing. Let's group that and we can call this something like cell row. And then we can figure out how we need to copy this. So if we duplicate this, if we just move it, it's not really going to work because the points will go right onto the points. So we can move it up this way, but then we also need to move it over. Okay, so we want to kind of just move it into position so that it is lined up. And if you want to come to the top view, maybe that's a little bit easier to kind of line uh, line these up. We can do that. So we'll kind of get that right in the middle, get the spacing fairly close. Okay. Now you can see we have the line is offset here. So I want to create one more. And let's duplicate that and we'll move it over here. Okay. If you want to be very exact, you can put that same number, um, add that same number to whatever translate values are in here. And now we have these two bits here. Okay, so now that we have these, it's very easy to come in. Now we have these two groups. We can go ahead, duplicate those groups. If we wanted to group them together beforehand, we could. And now we can begin to move those off. So you just kind of progressively duplicate your elements here. And again, you could use Duplicate Special if you wanted to, to kind of come in. And we've moved this uh, 3.025. Okay, so let's remember that. We'll kind of write it down, 3.025. My memory's not always the greatest. And so, you know, you could take this and let's actually group these together. So, and you can ungroup this later. But let's say we want to have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So we don't have three more of these sections. So we'll duplicate special. This time we're going in the X direction. So we'll zero everything out. And this is going to be in the X. And it's going to be 
3.025. And we already have two. We want to have eight, so we want to have three more copies. Let's go ahead and duplicate that. Okay. And they went the other way, but that's fine. The key is that we just wanted to have this um, piece here. And now very quickly, we've come from a single little object here with a few little ridges. And now we've started to create something that looks you know, a lot more detailed. And the fact is, it's very, very simple because we've just duplicated these objects. But, you know, that's the key. A lot of these things will be uh, kind of looking at things where you, you are able to duplicate those to create that repeated detail, which gives you a nice sense of complexity uh, in your objects. Okay, so we've been able to duplicate our separate objects, our little hex panels here. And so the next thing that we want to do is uh, let's create a sort of frame to go around this grouping to serve as the base for our panel. So we'll go ahead and take a look at doing that in the next lesson.